What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Hey, good to Hi. see you again. Oh, Hi, Leah. Great to see you again. Yeah. I saw you what, yesterday. I know, just the other day. Now we're oh, back man, at it. It comes so fast, right? <laughs> I so, know. Uh, so uh, I'm super excited about today's guest because I feel like I grew up with her. Um, she was like my next door neighbor in a much nicer house uh, <laughs> that I only saw on Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I had a really set routine as a child, you know, uh, especially for the weekends. My Friday nights, I was tuned in to TGIF. And on my Saturday mornings, I had cartoons. So, you know, whatever happened to predictability, you know, Milkman, mm -hmm. the paper boy, evening tea. <laughs> yeah, that's my cheesy Full House theme song reference. But let me quit babbling on. And Julie, please introduce today's guest. From all over the world. Chief, we're really excited. We have a beloved talent with us today. And as you mentioned, many of us grew up watching her as DJ Channer on Full House, and she has continued her success with Fuller House, her run on Dancing with the Stars, her work with the Hallmark Channel. She is also a best-selling author in her new children's book, Candace's Playful Puppy. It hit the shelves this week, and y'all, it's available at your exchange. Please give a warm Chief Chat welcome to Candace Cameron Bray. Hey! Hi! Hi. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you guys are fun. This is going to be a fun time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah, I'm a we big love fan. having fun. Definitely. We do too. Yeah, <laughs> we are. We are pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Candace, thanks so much for joining us. We are so excited. And for everybody watching, you know what to do. Leave a note in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. Share some love with Candace and leave your questions there too. We'll read those live throughout the broadcast. Now is the perfect time to start your watch party and enjoy this live interview with your friends. And if you're not following our page, you should. Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday and Wednesdays sometimes. So we have great guests coming up and that will help you know who's coming. Absolutely. So Candace, welcome, welcome. So uh, thank hey. you. First off, thank you so much for, uh, you know, you know, giving us a little of your time to boost morale for the military community. Uh, it, it's an, like I said, uh, I watched you as a child because I was a child and I was like, man, I, I love TGIF. So it, that was, uh, you know, when, when they, they told me that we, we had got you booked, man, I was like, okay. I went right back to my nine-year-old self, eight-year-old self, whatever, however, I, you know, whatever age I was at that time. So uh, thank you to, though, for joining us today. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for having me. And I'm, I'm you know, I love, I love being here in, I wish I could be there in person, first of all, but happy that we get to do this this way and just want to first extend all my thanks to all the military uh, people, the military families out there. I, I can only imagine because I, I hear your stories uh, I, about what it takes to be out there and especially for all the moms and dads with the with kids and little ones and training them up and just being diligent and faithful and in the service that you're doing for such a greater purpose than just yourself. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, awesome, awesome. So can you, can you tell us where you're joining us from today? I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> I'm uh, actually in quarantine right now. I'm on day 13. I only have one left to go. And I'm about to shoot a another Hallmark uh, Aurora Tea Garden mystery. Got gotcha. you. That's with, awesome. With an awesome kitchen, up, may, may I add, because I was like, <laughs> that was like the first thing I noticed when she came on. I was like, man, that kitchen is uh, immaculate. <laughs> yes, it's not mine, but it, it, it is a lovely kitchen. Yeah. I love this place. Absolutely. Candace, how have you been faring during the pandemic? You know, all things considered, very well. I'm a, I'm a very positive person and I'm always looking at the silver lining and I feel very blessed that I'm able to continue to work. And I actually got my kids home because my, I have three grown children and they all came back last year because they were, you know, they were all out or doing school or, you know, had moved out and the pandemic brought them home. So at, from a mama's heart, I was like, woohoo, more time with my kiddos and my husband. So, um, but you know, it's been a struggle for all of us. It's been challenging, but I'm always just trying to find the blessing in it. 
Glad to hear that you can stay positive through this. You know, so many people are struggling, but that mm-hmm. thanks for thanks for reminding us about that, that there are still blessings out there. And congratulations on your new children's book, Candace's Playful Puppy. It was released this week. And good news for everybody watching, it's available in select exchange stores and at shopmyexchange.com. So Candace, can you tell us about the book and then what lessons you're hoping kids and families will take from it? Yes. So Candace's Playful Puppy, I'm going to show it right here. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the third <laughs> book in my children's series. And Candace adopts a little puppy. And the lesson that she learns, because every book has a lesson, just like a full house episode or a fuller house episode, I always want there to be a takeaway and something that each parent or grandparent or and or uncle can talk with their kids about. So she learns the lesson of faithfulness. And that's because not only is it a huge responsibility to take care of a pet, but she has to be faithful in the, in, in the chores that she has to do, like uh, taking care, uh, taking her dog for a walk and feeding him and training him. And, you know, the going gets rough often and frustrating with a, with a, a new little puppy. So her mom, teaches her that faithfulness will always be rewarded in the end. And that is an obedient dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I need my kids to read that because, uh, they, you know, they'll, they'll ask for a puppy, but they don't want the responsibilities of, of a puppy or, or stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. That's why my dad never let us have a dog growing up. He was like, nope. You're, he's like, I know I'm going to end up taking care of it. Nope. So when I was 17 years old, I finally got my first dog. And now I've never been without a dog in my house. I'm oh. such an animal lover. Yeah. And so it's, it's funny you say that. So I know you are you just said you're a mom of three adults and you're also a dog mom to, to Boris, right? So, uh, yep. so, and we love seeing your family on IG, on, on the gram. Is that call it? We don't call it the gram because I, I want to be young. I want to be young again. <laughs> So we love seeing your family on the gram. So did your did your family, including Boris, kind of inspire the story or? Um... Oh, absolutely. I I am a huge dog lover. And when I knew the theme was going to be faithfulness, that's what I wanted. And so I was trying to think of a, a good story that would relate to that to that virtue. And of course, Boris, like everyone loves Boris on my Instagram more than anything else I post. I mean, everyone's like, please, we want Boris to have his own Instagram. And I'm like, no, because then y'all are going to leave my Instagram and only follow Boris. Exactly. <laughs> so he definitely was the inspiration for this book. And Boris is, he's a big pup, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> Boris weighs more than I do. He's huge and he's a Rottweiler. And, um, He's just fantastic. He's actually the fifth Rottweiler that we've had in our, wow. in our family. And they're just wonderful, such wonderful family dogs, but also very protective of their family. And that's why we love the Rottweiler breed. That's great. Mm-hmm. So Candace's Playful Puppy, as you mentioned, it's your third children's book after Candace Center Stage and Grow Candace Grow. And these books, they're so beautiful. The illustrations are just stunning and they're such thoughtful stories. So what led you to create this series and what's ahead for you in terms of your writing? Well, thank you. Yes, Christine Batus illustrated these and she's just wonderful. And for those of you who may have had the other books or this might be the first book that you're going to take a look at, there's another little character in here and he's Harry the Hamster. Now he's (laughs) actually my favorite character in the book series. And on every single page, you can find Harry, but he's not always front and center. So it's like a little, every page turner, just ask your kids, like, where's Harry? Where's Harry? So he's a fun find on every single page. And Harry's like Candace's little sidekick. And he's not always happy. He's definitely not happy she got a new puppy. But he's (laughs) often not happy with the adventures that Candace gets into. Um, So, okay, all that to say, this this has been a passion of mine for more than 20 years, because reading has always been my favorite thing to do with my kids. I love reading stories and maybe it's the actress in me because I just love acting them out and using different voices and accents and all that kind of stuff. So I dreamed of writing a children's book for more than 20 years and kind of crazy in the publishing world when I was able to finally write a book, 
they didn't want a children's book first. <laughs> so I wrote a trade book, meaning I, you know, I have eight books. So my very first book was called Reshaping It All. And I've gone on to write several more. But then finally, in these last few years, they were like, okay, you can do the children's book. But that was always the dream first. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So it sounds Very like Harry needs a spinoff or something, right? We he like, does. Harry yeah. Needs series. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was there? A, are we? I think we're good. I, can you guys um, oh, hear and oh. see me? Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. There's Leah. Leah's back. Sorry. Here. Yep. I lost connectivity for <laughs> one second. Um, we really are oh. live. <laughs> Awkward awkward (laughs) pause. Awkward (laughs) pause. We're all good. We're like, who's got the next question? (laughs) (laughs) So, Candace, we we know that you have a big heart, especially for our nation's military. Um, This time last year, before the pandemic, you held a book signing at the Fort Hood Exchange for Grow Candace Grow, and the military community absolutely loved you. So today we have soldiers, airmen, guardians, sailors, Marines, and Coast Guard members watching live right now from all over the world. The world looks so different from how it was a year ago though, so do you have any words of encouragement to share with our nation's heroes? Oh, well again, thank you for all that you're doing so much. You know, for everyone out there, all the people in in service as well as all the families that are listening, I have found such strength in this Bible verse. And I hope you don't mind if I share it because I am a woman of faith. It means everything to me. And um, I just, I just have really been clinging on to this verse the last in the last year a lot. And it's in Philippians four. It starts at verse six. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and praiseworthy. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you've heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you. So I hope that's an encouragement to someone today. It sure is to my heart, knowing that no matter what goes on in the world, I always have an open and connect direct line that I can pray and ask for anything and God will give me a peace in my heart no matter how anxious or trying my circumstances may be around me. Oh no, that was that was beautiful and thank you for that. Um definitely kind of just reminds me that you know even waking up this morning was it was a blessing. And and just focus on something positive uh you know or have positive routines first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up you know thankful that and maybe that could set the tone for your day. So I absolutely, that yes, thank you. So you you had a, an incredible career from such a young age, and uh, so how have you stayed uh, motivated and grounded? Because I know the industry is probably a little a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> but but how? Who but said you, I'm grounded? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just I'm just trying to uh, you know how do you, how do you stay motivated and 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 not. Because there, there's always criticism about everything mm-hmm. in the whole wide world. You can't do anything without, you know, being people being critical and you being in the limelight. That's like, yeah, a, a recipe for criticism. So, um, you know, but how do how do you? Well, I know, well, I know one is probably your faith is definitely keeping you grounded. Uh, Absolutely. Um, yeah, my my faith definitely does. And, um, you know, it all kind of comes with the territory when you're in the end- entertainment industry or you're in the spotlight, you you have to have thick skin. But I I surround myself with people that I know have the the best intentions and thoughts for me that and will guide me in the right direction uh, if I am getting down or off track in any way, you know, and that's my, that's my family. So you surround yourself with people that have your best interest at heart. And, you know, like I said, staying in the, the word of God helps me tremendously. I know, I know my purpose. I know whose I am. And 
meaning I am a child of God. So I focus on those things when it gets, when it gets trying. Oh, that's, that's good stuff. And, and I also noticed that you, you seem to be linked to dancing as well. So, so, <laughs> so, you know, you got the, the, the dancing with the stars and then you got the TikTok. And then I think I saw some uh, karaoke situation <laughs> where, where uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot was, was in there as well. And so- Are you uh, really gonna bring that up? No. <laughs> <laughs> But that's like my go-to karaoke song. Is, is that your go-to? <laughs> What's that? Is that so? So, uh, baby got back is your go-to? Yes, it's yes. so embarrassing, but yes, it's my go-to. <laughs> that's not embarrassing. That's, that's a classic. Oh, everybody needs a go-to song that you know you can sing <laughs> when you're doing karaoke, and that's okay. That that's yours. I love that about yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I can't sing is, very well, so rapping, I can, you know, maybe kind of do it. What's <laughs> What's your go-to? So mine is Purple Rain because. You don't. You don't have to sing it. You can just talk it, talk it out, and then that's you, right. You can put up a, a lighter or cell phone, <laughs> and, and then you just have everybody like it's. It's just a captivating song. So, and I don't have to sound bad uh, when I when I do purple rain. <laughs> Chief, that's good. That's really good. <laughs> Candace, one thing we love about you is just how you radiate kindness. How do you maintain that positive mindset? And what advice do you have for cultivating kindness towards others? Well, thank you. And I did write a whole book on that, which is yeah. called Kind is the New Classy. And, you know, the way I, I always go back to the fruit of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And those are all things that with God, I can have. I can discipline myself, but also get and receive kindness supernaturally. So I also know that when people aren't kind, when you return it with kindness, people are stunned. They don't yeah. even know yes. what to do. It throws them off. And then it's like, uh, oh, um, and but it naturally, I really truly believe kindness is something you can catch. Meaning when someone get, extends kindness to you, they have a hard time to not return it. Uh, even if it's something just as small as having um, just manners, like saying, thank you so much. Have a nice day. You look beautiful today. You know, extending compliments that, that feel nice and genuine, but it, it will turn someone's day around. And it's amazing how that happens. So those are all just little, little, yeah, little ways. I think you just build upon it every day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for that. And you, you've led an incredibly busy, active lifestyle. I've seen you working out on social media channels. Um, so for our nation's service members, nutrition, exercise, and sleep, they're all vital for their readiness and resiliency. So how do you take care of yourself so you can be your best? Well, I do love fitness, which I share on the gram all on the, the gram. time. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw some jump roping. The things. jump roping. Yes, the jump roping. I was like, I know. oh gosh, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> you get oh it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to become a better jump roper. I've been, I jump rope for cardio, which is, it's like one of the best cardio exercises you can do. And, um, but now I'm trying to learn fancy footwork. <laughs> so it's been it's pretty you fun with, with the stars of course you got fancy you got that down pat no you see i'm not i don't feel as coordinated as you'd think <laughs> but you know i just i know how much fitness makes me feel better i genuinely enjoy it although i didn't really enjoy it until my 30s and I finally found things that I have fun doing, and that's why I enjoy it now. But as a result of that, I feel so much better, and I eat healthy because I know those foods benefit my body, my brain, my mind, my heart. It's everything's overall uh, health and fitness with with my diet and my exercise. And I always want to be the best I can be and feel the best I can. So I take the necessary steps to do that. Absolutely. And I'm gonna have to invest in me a jump rope. I'm, I'm yes. convinced now because because I, I I run, I will do some running, and and uh, you know that kind of clears my mind. But uh, I definitely need to switch it up a little bit. So um, chief, I, won't be able to... I think I know where you can get one, chief. Oh, oh. <laughs> shop my exchange. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's stop my exchange. Got Get you. those double unders in, Chief. Let's see them. No, go. no, it, it won't. That that comes with time, apparently. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> double unders are hard. I'm They're still so hard. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Candace, what else do you have in the works? I know you you talk about that you're in quarantine right now, uh, in, in in works of a, of a of a Hallmark film, which you know Julian and Leah lo absolutely love. I can't say that my, my my TV's on Hallmark a lot, so I I probably get I probably miss out on all your all your shows. But uh, what else you got going on? Well, yeah, so we're about to shoot. Uh, our 16th and 17th Aurora Tea Garden movies. That's on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. And uh, and then I'll be shooting, of course, another Christmas movie this year and a few other Christmas movies, but that'll be later on in the year I'm going to do that. And I have lots of other stuff that's going on, but it's probably too much to share right now. But of course, I, I have my, my mind style brand, uh, that is available at Dayspring and on QVC that are all faith inspired products from t-shirts to candles to home goods and journals and devotionals. I mean, that's really where my, where my heart is at. And I just love sharing. I love sharing Jesus with people. <laughs> and, um, and again, just there's, there's lots of other stuff, but I always keep everyone posted on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So if you're ever interested, just click over to my page and you'll see what's happening. Candace, we want to turn to our live Facebook feed for just a second and Great. share some feedback from our military viewers. We have people joining us from all over the world. Caroline Victoria says, I love her. I've admired her since I was a kid. Love her faith. Awesome. Thank you. Julie Walker says, thank you for that verse. Needed to hear that today. Christine, Christina Zonker says, I watch her on Hallmark, but grew up watching her career. LOL. Um, somebody else was commenting about how fantastic you look. Stacy says she was so good on Dancing with the Stars. Oh. Um, <laughs> So, and then Caroline, Caroline again says, what an awesome birthday gift being able to watch her this morning. So it was oh, happy birthday watching you. Um, Leah, do you see, what else have I missed here? Have you seen anything else? Let's see. Um, I put you on the spot. Oh, uh, no, Yolanda you're says you're a great role model. Um, yeah, Thank somebody you. else commenting about what a great mo role model you are. And then somebody else wants to know if you live in Canada, but you're just in Canada, like you're shooting the movie in Canada. Exactly. I live in, thank you for all those kind words, everyone. And thanks for watching us today. Um, no, I live in Los Angeles, but I shoot the majority of the Hallmark movies that I make in Canada. So I do spend almost half a year in Canada every year. Wow. Kristen says, um, hi from Joint Base Lewis McCord, and she loves how you stay so true to your faith. Thank you. Yeah, just a, just a lot of love out there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes, she there's so much so love. So nice, thank you. Christina is asking about your hubby. She says, what is he doing these days? Does he still play hockey? Oh, great question. So my, my husband, his name's Val, and he was a professional hockey player for 12 years in the NHL, but he's long been retired. Uh, he retired in 2006 <laughs> and he, we actually make wine. So he owns and started Bure Family Wines and we are in uh, St. Helena, California in Northern California there. And that's what he does now. That's what he's been doing since he retired. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's really hockey, good. Hockey players are pretty tough, man. They, they, they don't have teeth half the time, but, <laughs> but they, they're real tough, man. They are <laughs> tough. From, ho <laughs> from hockey to winemaking. Yes. yes. <laughs> I know. Christian. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, Leo. Julie. Yeah. No, oh, you no. go ahead. I was going to say, Christina wants Candace to come to Washington um, to Joint Base Lewis McCord. She really wants you to come up there and uh, visit us up there. And uh, uh, <laughs> Nikki says hello from Germany. So that's exciting, right? Worldwide wow. people watching. Um, there was another comment from Germany too, um, but now I can't find that. Um, Chris cool. from Dallas says, it's so cool to see you on Chief Chat today. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. I wish I could visit more bases and visit all over the country. I really do. 
I don't, it, unfortunately I would have this year it, it, it visited more, but just can't. Right. Because, ex- right. Exactly. That whole pandemic kind of put a, <laughs> that, damper, put a on damper on it. <laughs> but I know last year, um, when you came to Fort hood, like the community was so, so like Leah was talking about earlier. So, so excited and big line to come out and see you. And, um, the military really, um, loves your message and your spirit. So thank you. Yeah, it was a Kayla, good time. Kayla actually commented and said that she loved seeing you last year at the Fort Hood Exchange. And um, so she said, I hate that COVID isn't allowing that right now, but she hopes to see you soon. Thank you. As soon as all this stuff is lifted and gone, I'm coming back. (laughs) Yay. Yay. So as a reminder to the viewers, Candace's Playful Puppy, it can be found now at select exchange stores and on Shop My Exchange. Dot com. So before we wrap up, Candace, remind us where can we keep up with you and Boris too on social media? <laughs> I know you guys just want Boris. That's it. No, no, it's all no, about no. Boris. And you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can follow me on Instagram. You can just search my name, but my handle is Candace C. Bure, B-U-R-E. And it's the same on Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest, I think. And on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's embarrassing. You can follow me on TikTok, but I am like my biggest dorky self on TikTok ever. Listen, but you're cool enough for your daughter to want to put you on her TikTok. So you you this, you've made it. That's this is saying true. a lot. This is so true. Thank you for that reminder. I do feel really special when she asks me to be yeah, on a TikTok. My, my, my sons have, have yet to ask me to be on TikTok. <laughs> my boys haven't either. My boys are much more embarrassed by me than my daughter is. <laughs> So Candace, uh, first off, just uh, thanks again for spending some time with us today. Uh, you, you know, you, thank you for 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 being true to yourself and and being true to your faith and giving us a, some encouraging words today. Because, like I said, it's it's all about having a positive mindset, a positive attitude that can that can take you so so far in life. Yes. Uh, so uh, thank you for reminding us. Uh, this means so much to all the service members and their families uh, out there. You know, what I'm saying you you give us. Uh, you know, I always tell the celebrities, like, you know, you do as much for America as, as, as we do, as far as entertaining and getting our minds off of all the craziness that we deal with on a daily basis and give us, you know, a good place to go to kind of, you know, to, to be more resilient. So, you know, when, when I'm Thank sitting on the you. couch with, you know, looking crazy, like I'm, I'm recharging my battery, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm being entertained by, by folks on the screen. So, but, so thank you for what you do as well. Oh, thank you. That means so much. That's so kind. We're a good team. Yeah, we Let's are. Let's keep this up. Thank you. <laughs> so congratulations on uh, Candace's Playful Puppy. Uh, you guys go out there to your local exchanges or uh, shopmyexchange.com and get it. Uh, you, we hope you have a tremendous success and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. This was so fun. I love chatting with all of you. And thanks to everyone who joined us. And I hope that maybe later this year or next year, I'll get to see you in person. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Would love that. Thank you, Candace, for your time. We appreciate you. You're so welcome. Bye. Bye. Keep chat out. Keep chat out.